Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, September the 23rd. It's the 15th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verse 40 to 55. And Esther, chapter 5, verse 1 to 14. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs, high as the heavens our voices raise, and earth with her ten thousand tongues shall fill your courts with sounding praise. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia, Psalm 78. And please recite together with me. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. They turned back and tempted you and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember your strength, nor the day when you delivered them from the enemy, how you had wrought signs in Egypt and wonders in the fields of Zoan. You turned their rivers into blood that they could not drink. You set all sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. You also gave their crops to the caterpillar, and their labor to the locust. You destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamores with frost. You gave up their cattle to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. You cast on them the fierceness of your anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble, by sending a troop of evil angels among them. You gave free course to your anger, and did not spare their lives from death, but gave them over to the pestilence. You struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, the finest flower in the tabernacles of Ham, but made your own people go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And you led them in safety, so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And you brought them to the border of your holy land, even to this mountain, which your right hand had purchased. And you cast out the heathen before them, and divided the land for their inheritance, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia. A lesson from the book of Esther, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. On the third day, Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace, opposite the king's hall. The king was sitting on his royal throne inside the palace, opposite the entrance to the palace. As soon as the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court, she won his favor, and he held out to her the golden scepter that was in her, his hand. And then Esther approached and touched the top of the scepter, and the king said to her, What is it, queen? What is your request? It shall be given you, even to half of my kingdom. And then Esther said, If it pleases the king, let the king and Haman come today to a banquet that I have prepared for the king. 
Then the king said, Bring Haman quickly, so that we may do as Esther desires. So the king and Haman came to the banquet that Esther had prepared. And while they were drinking wine, the king said to Esther, What is your petition? It shall be granted to you. And what is your request? Even to the half of my kingdom, it shall be fulfilled. And then Esther said, This is my petition and request. If I have won the king's favor, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, let the king and Haman come tomorrow to a banquet that I will prepare for them, and then I will do as the king has said. Haman went out that day happy and in good spirits. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, and observed that he neither rose nor trembled before him, he was infuriated with Mordecai. Nevertheless, Haman restrained himself and went home. And then he sent and called for his friends and his wife, Zeresh. And Haman recounted to them the splendor of his riches, the number of his sons, all the promotions with which the king had honored him, and how he had advanced above the officials and the ministers of the king. Haman added, Even Queen Esther let no one but myself come with the king to the banquet that she had prepared. Tomorrow also I am invited by her, together with the king. Yet all this does me no good so long as I see the Jew, Mordecai, sitting at the king's gate. Then his wife, Zeresh, and all his friends said to him, Let a gallows fifty cubits high be made, and in the morning tell the king to have Mordecai hanged on it, and then go with the king to the banquet in good spirits. This advice pleased Haman, and he had the gallows made. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Guide us to your eternal dominion, O Shepherd of Israel, for only in you can we live in safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.